The only way this works, and I mean really works, is to show you everything. You can't just show the good things in life, you have to show the bad days. It hasn't been easy for me. I ran 209 two years ago. I don't think I've raced well since, and it's been a journey. So this is the best time to start because I'm refinding that motivation. I'm refinding that desire to want to try to be better. So I know I'm late. I'm always late. Do I have time to make a coffee quickly? Steve-O's rushing me. He says we're late, which we are, which meant no time for coffee. We're on our way to Camp Verde. Steve-O packed a bit more than I did. What all did you pack there, Steve-O? Supplies. He's got supplies, but he doesn't have coffee for me. And we left late, my fault, so no coffee. But we're going to a garage and I'll get a Red Bull. Okay, so welcome. This is day one and you're watching my first video log on my journey to the Paris 2024 Olympics. My name's Stephen Scullion. I'm an Irish Olympian from Tokyo 2020 and I'm also a 209 marathon runner. I've decided to upload a video every day between now and the Paris 2024 Olympic marathon. If someone's an absolute brain box, you can comment below how many videos that will be and how many days it'll be until the Paris 2024 Olympics. All right, we're at the gas station. I'm gonna have to get a Red Bull because Stephen rushed me out of the house and I couldn't get coffee, but it was my fault. We were late. The reason I wanted to start now is because I'm just getting back into training and so I wanna show the good parts of running, but also the tough and nitty gritty parts of being a professional athlete when motivation isn't that high, you have 10 pounds to lose of weight, your fitness isn't where it needs to be, but that's all part of the journey. I didn't want to just show the journey when it gets to the really good bits, I wanted to show what does it take to get to the really good bits, both from a physical standpoint and from the mental health standpoint. Is the motivation really great every day? Is the fitness great every single day? Hopefully if you're watching, you're the kind of athlete that doesn't just have brilliant days every day. And so I think you'll really enjoy this journey because you'll see that not every day is sunshine and rainbows for me either. So this is the best time to start because I'm refinding that motivation. I'm refinding that desire to want to try to be better. Mate, you're just making these spots up. When you've already trained for 15 to 20 years of your life and you've already ran 209 and you've already gone to an Olympics, but you know how difficult running can be, then it takes a big sacrifice, it takes a big commitment to want to do that all again. But I can't wait to share that journey with everybody. That's gonna make it even more special. It was special when I started the podcast two, three years ago, and I showed that journey. I was able to document by podcasting the journey to Tokyo 2020. This time, it's gonna be done on YouTube where I can show so much more, warm-up drills, recovery stuff, sessions. I can show much, much more that's gonna be helpful to you guys. So. Hopefully you stick around with me. Hopefully we make it to the Paris 2024 Olympics and who knows what else will happen along the way. All right, we made it to Camp Verde. Now it's time to get warmed up. And this is where we use the nice flat road. It's a bit lower altitude, so it should feel a bit easier, but fitness ain't where it's been before. <laughs> this is about a journey. This is about taking my fitness from being not in a very good place right now, being 10 pounds overweight, and trying to get to a place to run quicker than 209.48 for the marathon. It's gonna take 209, 208 at least to make it to the Olympic Games. To be competitive at the Olympic Games, you need to run 206, 207. You need to be able to deal with the heat. You need to be able to go to Paris and compete well. So you're going to follow this journey from being 
perhaps not ready to do those things, but then putting in place what it takes to be ready for that. Both, like I've said, both physically, get the fitness to a place where it needs to be, and get the psychology to a place where it needs to be to stand on the start line with some of the best athletes in the world. When you're ready to do that, then you're ready to go to Paris and be competitive. And you get to follow every day of that journey if you follow along with these video logs. Mate, you're just like a natural model. <laughs> Maybe you should do the threshold. Yeah. All right, so five times a mile, 520, 60 seconds rest. Just the kind of session to break the body back in. When you've taken a bit of time off or you've recovered from a marathon and you're starting to get back into training, it's all about keeping the body healthy, but starting to work the aerobic system and the body physically enough to get some fitness back into the body, but also being careful that you don't push too hard too soon or that's when you get injured. So hypothetically, today should feel pretty good. <laughs> it should feel pretty comfortable, but yeah, who knows? It might be really hard, um, but let's have some fun. Let's get the session done. Follow and um, Casey, we're going to go six to eight reps. Where's Casey? <laughs> six to eight reps, okay? So, again, yeah, we're, going to go to again, we're going longer rather than faster, okay? So we're capping this at like four feet. All right, so job done five by a mile, 520 to 530, and then some 400s, just a tiny, tiny bit quicker at the end. Um, tiny, tiny, tiny bit quicker, like instead of 520 pace, five minute pace. All good, heart rate didn't go over, I don't think 155, 160, so lactate would have been good, but I forgot my skin prick, so I can't tell what the lactate was, but that's all right. Day one, job done. I'm hoping you find something valuable in each day. What you're gonna see is the good days, the bad days, and everything in between. How running isn't always in a nice upward trajectory, and then perhaps what you do if things aren't going the way that you want them to go. What do I do to try to get things back on track? And if you make it to the end of each video, you'll get your tip of the day. And today's tip of the day is within 15 to 20 minutes after finishing a hard training session, make sure you eat a recovery snack. That's when the muscles need it the most and get that recovery in within 15 to 20 minutes.